Hi everyone, I'm so glad you've joined me today. We've been learning a lot about Jesus. We know that he's the Son of God, he's our Savior. But right now, we're in a time of life that feels a little strange. In fact, it feels like we're on a bit of a difficult journey. We're having to stay home a lot. When we go out, you and mom and dad are probably wearing masks. We're doing this to stay safe and to keep other people safe. But it does feel a little strange. But there's never been a more important time to remember exactly who Jesus is than right now. You see, Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is our Savior. He has power and authority over everything. And even in this crazy time, Jesus doesn't want us to worry. He wants us to rest in him and to put all of our faith in him. But sometimes we still worry. We just do. And so there's a story from the book of Luke, chapter 10, that tells how Jesus really wants us to trust him and to not worry so much. It's the story of Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha were sisters and they loved Jesus. And every time that Jesus would come to their town, Bethany, he would stay in their home. And Mary would sit at Jesus' feet. When Jesus came to visit, she would spend every moment listening and learning from him and spending time with her Lord. But Martha would get very distracted. You see, Martha would worry. She wanted so much for every little thing to be perfect for Jesus that she spent all of her time cleaning and cooking and trying to make everything perfect. She would also get irritated that Mary didn't help her. In fact, one time she said to Jesus, tell Mary to help me. I need to make everything perfect. And Jesus had the most surprising answer. Jesus said, Martha, you worry too much about too many things. Jesus wanted her to slow down. He wanted her to slow down and pay attention to what really matters. Time spent in the presence of God. It's the same for you and me. We can get so distracted and so worried right now in this journey that we're on that sometimes we forget to slow down and spend time in the presence of God. God has authority and a power over everything. He's in control of the situation and he doesn't want you to worry. He wants you to spend time with him to slow down and see all of his blessings. And his blessings are everywhere. We get to spend more time with the people that we love. We have more time to read the Bible and to pray. And we need to slow down and pay attention to all the blessings that are around us. The blessing of laughter. Maybe it's a beautiful flower in your yard that's bloomed. Maybe it's a butterfly that came and sat on your windowsill. God's beauty and love and blessings are all around us. And he wants us to slow down and pay attention. He is control and he is right here by our sides. To show you a little bit more about how if we don't slow down and pay attention, we can miss the beauty around us. What I have today is a box of crayons, except it's not a very exciting box of crayon. All the crayons are white. Can you imagine trying to do a picture with it? It wouldn't have any color. It'd be pretty boring and dull. But I want you to look again. Look at that. Now the box of crayon is filled with colors. All of the colors are there to create a beautiful picture. That's exactly what happens right now if we don't slow down and pay attention. We're on a bit of a crazy journey, but Jesus has authority and control over everything, and his blessings are everywhere. Trust in him, rest in him, and look around. You're going to see his love, his grace, and his beauty surround you. I'd like you to listen to these words. These words were written in the book of Psalms. This is Psalm 46, verse 10. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored among the nations. I will be honored in the earth. God's in control. He loves you so very much, and his blessings are all around you. Take time 
Time to read your Bible, time to pray, and time to be in his holy, holy presence. It changes everything. Would you pray with me? Let's bow our heads and talk to God. Father God, help me to be still. Help me to see all of your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm so glad you were here, friends, and I hope you come back next week because there's so much we still need to learn about Jesus. He's your Savior, and he loves you so very much.